Hey there viewers, and welcome back to the South Main Auto Channel. Uh, standing underneath a Buick Lucerne, it's the CXL model, not that it matters, and it's got the big 3.9 in it. Come in, ABS stability, track light, all that stuff, and brakes assist, all the all the lights are on the dash. Has a code of C0040, C0040, so indicating right front wheel speed sensor circuit. Now this car already has a brand spanking new wheel bearing in it, so that's why it's here at our shop, because obviously there's something else wrong. Uh, so I'm going to show you a really cool feature. Uh, many of you know that I now have the Maxisys Ultra. It's the uh, newest scan tool by Altel. Uh, it comes with their scopes, part of their VCI module. Uh, but it also has a super cool feature. It has a built-in signal generator, which is super handy for diagnosing stuff like this. And I'm going to show you. So this is the VCI module that goes with the Ultra. Uh, this is just our standard 908. I'm just using it so I can have two screens going at the same time and not have this up plugged in the car. So what I'm using is their waveform generator. It gives you the ability to uh, put out, you know, DC square waves, um, the square wave X plus Y. So if you're doing like a, fifth, a 60 tooth minus two crank signal, and what this does is this actually generates the signal. You select the frequency and amplitude, so your peak to peak voltage, uh, the frequency that you want this signal uh, to come across or be output and it actually outputs that signal on this end of the scope so uh, not only is it good for you know picking up signals it's also good for generating them so why is that important here well as like I say brand new wheel bearing um, this is going to save us a whole lot of testing because I suspect there's obviously a problem in the wiring uh, which there is and I'm going to show you so right now I've got it set up uh, on a triangle wave four volts peak to peak and about 200 Hertz and then I've got the wiring coming from the scope going up to my left front speed sensor harness let me show you and that's right here by left front wheel now why am I doing a left front when we have a problem with the right front it's so I can get some definitive data uh, using my front probes from AES wave uh, and you test kit fantastic bit of kit by the way props to them and then I'll show you what we're seeing on the scan data so on scan data right now, I'm injecting it with a 200 hertz signal, uh, four volts peak to peak. Uh, let me get this going here. And you can see, oops, let me hit play on the generator. We are going 19.8 miles per hour. And technically, if we increase the frequency, our speed should also increase. So that's 300 hertz, 400 hertz, 500, 600. Do you see the trend right here? And now we got this left front wheel just a smoke and we got red lights. So there we are at 900 hertz, we're going about 90 miles per hour. So, uh, so that's good to know because we can set it here. We'll set it at 500 hertz. And now we know that our signal is good. The ABS module likes it. Uh, you know, our testing is gonna be good. Now we can go over to the wheel that's bad and inject the signal into that. So this is our right front wheel. It doesn't matter which one of these goes in where. Um, so there's that, so we're plugged into the right front wheel but looky looky we're still sitting at zero so you're like well what's the big deal there Obachaka? what are you trying to get at well what I'm getting at is now we have a signal being injected into these wires so now we can trace out our wiring fault uh, we can go and say we've got the wire you know it's coming in here we'll go to our next connection is it coming in there is it making the ABS module if we have this same signal that we're putting out on the Maxisys Ultra if that signal is making it to the ABS module then we know our ABS module is smoked however I'm a pretty smart feller once in a while. Uh, I know that these connectors here are typically garbage. Usually, if they're not all green and crusty out here, you can give them a little tug and they pop apart. Or what we can do is go like this, which I don't recommend this, of course I do. Or use our Pomonos, which you can buy at AES Wave also. This sounds like a damn commercial. Uh, my favorite back probes, or <laughs> back probes, call them what you want, wire piercers. We're gonna pierce in there. And that's going to tell us, is our connection bad between point A and point B? Hopefully it is because we just poked holes in the wires. So then we'll jab these little guys in right there. So now we've eliminated the front connection. And lo and behold, we are now going 50 MPHs on the right front wheel by injecting the signal directly into the wires instead of into the connectors. So there you go, fella. Hey, it's that guy. Hey. Uh, so what we need to do uh, at this point is just get this harness or and or that connector. Uh, that connector is junk. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, it's not so much a diag video on how to 
diagnose your ABS. And, you know, yes, the pin drag test is fine. You know, they have a relatively fair amount of tension on it when I pull it in and out. Uh, so we're not just talking pin fitment. Uh, I'd be willing to bet if we pop this apart, it's probably green and crusty and nasty on the inside. Uh, so that's that. So there's tons and tons of uses that you can use that signal generator for that's super handy. Um, you know, the other way that you could do this is, you know, you can have your buddy out here spinning the wheel for you, which works because I've done it for a bazillion years that way. Or I'll have the car up on a lift and just pop it and drive and just let that wheel rotate. Uh, and it'll generate a couple volts, you know, usually or around a volt. And then I'll see, you know, yes, I've got my signal at the ABS or, you know, at the uh, wheel bearing, you know, the output plug it in, you know, where am I losing my signal? But it's a whole lot nicer to be able to do it like this, you know, key on, engine off, looking at data on the scan tool, plugging your signal generator in and chasing it that way. So uh, I know this is a little out of reach for, you know, some folks, but a lot of you guys in the shops, I know I see on Facebook on some of the groups, there's a ton of people that have the Maxisys Ultra. So hopefully you're taking advantage of that fact that it has a built-in signal generator and using that in your diags. Um, you can use it uh, to substitute signals on anything. I'm kind of struggling to find an example. Uh, you know, crank signal. You think, oh, you know, I got crank signal at the, you know, down at the connector, but I, it's not making it to my ECM. Well, instead of, you know, cranking the car over to try to chase that signal or, you know, probing it with, a, you know, a test light to inject 12 volts into it, you know, you could use this little signal generator. Uh, there's, there's so many uses. Now I'm going to get into it. So. Anyhow, talk too much. Why don't you talk to me down in that comment box? Questions, comments, criticisms, concerns. That was a terrible example I used. And just remember, viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.